So in the last video, we spoke about the wins and the fails of Tesla Autopilot and also stressed how Tesla Autopilot is not the same thing as Tesla full self-driving. Well, in this video, let's have a chat about full self-driving, how the beta testing is going and essentially how close we are to full self-driving. Now about five months ago in October of 2020, Tesla announced their full self-driving early access program in which they picked about a thousand people, hardcore Tesla fans who already owned and drove Teslas every day of their life pick these people and said, listen, we're going to give you software updates for full self-driving. We want you to put these software updates in your car and essentially let the cars drive you around in scenarios of your daily life. And if the self-driving AI, when the self-driving AI makes mistakes, we want you to report those issues back to us so that we can look at it, feed them back into the training data and then make incremental software updates to fix it. So that's essentially how it was structured and how the Tesla full self-driving beta testing is going as of now. And out of these thousand people part of the program, only a subset of them are actually authorized to publish and discuss their observations in public. Now naturally a bunch of these testers make their observations and write about them for websites and blogs and stuff. But more importantly and interestingly to us, there are a few of these testers who just show real-time footage and make their observations via YouTube videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you and sort of consolidate the progress of the beta testing that's been going on for five months. And let's talk about how far we have come in terms of full self-driving. Any footage that I use in this video is thanks to two YouTube channels, the AI Driver and the Silicon Valley Tesla Owners Club. Big shout out to these guys for constantly making videos and sharing their beta testing updates with us. First off, the way FSD is laid out is super interesting. You see the actual GPS map on the right side here. But right in front of the driver, you have this autonomous mode visualization map, which objectively is just cool to look at anyway, just to look at what the car is seeing in real time. That's amazing. But also if you look closer, you see different colors for different objects. That is, this car is safe at a safe distance, make it green. This car isn't, make it red, etc. in real time. Amazing. But also if you look even closer, you see path lines that it puts out, that is, essentially where the car is planning to go, the path that it's planning to take. This sort of thing gives you an insight into what the car is thinking. And if the car gets something wrong or does something weird, these beta testers have an option to send that incident in to Tesla for Tesla to be aware of that scenario and sort of fix it. Right, so this is not a U-turn at all, but it is handling it like that. So I'm just gonna send that in. Now, let me take you back to the start. The beta testing program was announced by Elon Musk on the 21st of October, 2020. And uh, two days later, on the 23rd, the Silicon Valley Tesla Owners Club uploaded three testing videos to YouTube. In the first video, the situation for the full self-driving Tesla is it goes around a roundabout. First of all, zero traffic. Goes around a roundabout and then makes a left turn, right? I'm gonna show you the video in a second, but it does it by itself but it does it really weirdly acting all jerky and stuff. Just have a look. look at how they lose their minds at it actually doing that because that was day one essentially day one of the beta testing next video it sees a man suddenly in the middle of the road and it stops by itself oh person oh what, what? it freaking stopped dude what see the person crossing the street I mean, yeah, that's good. But looking back at it now, it isn't really that impressive considering the guy in the passenger seat noticed the dude in the middle of the road way before the AI did, so. Oh, person. Oh, what? what? It freaking stopped, dude. And finally, this third video released back in October. It's a scenario where it's going to make a left turn up ahead. So it's in some other lane and it thinks ahead and switches over to the left lane so that when it comes to the signal, it can turn left. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. It's just like... It so, did that? Yeah, this is <laughs> all. <laughs> See, 
It's a wall. Extreme right to the extreme left to make this left turn. Wow. Five months ago, all of this was super impressive. But now, in Feb 2021, all I'll say is it's gotten a lot better. And dare I say, human-like. I mean, if you don't want to believe me, I'm going to play you some of the footage from the past couple of weeks and just have a look at how impressive this is. This is again from the Tesla, uh, Silicon Valley Tesla Owners Club. Just look at this footage, right? This isn't just flat road with no traffic. This is a mountainous area. It's got weird turns and the car just handles it. I mean, come on. That, that's hard. Like, look how twisty and steep that is and no human intervention. Wow. Also, observe the fluidity in steering, the lack of weird jerking and random braking, just generally not being a total noob. It's learning all the time. And now look at it here in traffic in a big city like San Francisco, even in the night time, just as comfortable. Let's, I mean, look at that. I mean, let's put it this way. If I told you that the person, there was a person driving that and that person was an inexperienced human driver who just got his license, you'd believe me. Is that, is that, is that a fair thing to say? Which is a compliment for self-driving AI in 2021, is it not? So now, what does this all mean? Are we are we done? Do we have full self-driving? Well, not exactly. I mean, it's, it's quite good and it's getting better with each test, but it's the edge cases and there are a lot of edge cases. That's, that's how it works, right? It's not like version one, it can only steer and version two, it can break also. No, all of that is done. What remains are the edge cases and there are a lot of edge cases. And that's why this beta testing helps a lot because these guys, these beta testers are driving around in cities like San Francisco. They're driving around in urban environments where anything could happen, weird things could happen. And these are sort of edge cases and scenarios that you can't, you wouldn't even think about simulating in a computer environment. For example, let me show you this incident where the poor Tesla self-driving car is driving along in San Francisco in the night and a bunch of these skaters come up in the opposite direction and the car has no idea what just happened and it stops, it just stops. Because when has it ever seen that before in its training that a bunch of skaters came up almost attacking it coming in the opposite direction so it just freezes. So that's an edge case that you wouldn't even think of. Um, or how about this scenario? where it doesn't know what to do with these little scooter guys on the right side and it just freezes. Now, yes, of course, it stopped a safe distance away from the scooters, which is good, but it's not normal human behavior. Like if you were a human driver, you wouldn't just stop. You would go through on the left. And if you stopped like that, the cars in the back would get upset and they start honking at you. So again, not normal behavior. So that's an edge case. Or how about this situation where this truck on the left side is clearly stopped and also has its hazard parking lights on but the left side of that light is broken so it just looks like it's just indicating right so the self-driving ai comes up and again it's confused like it looks like that truck is stopped i'm confident of that but it's also indicating so what do i what do i do here when we slow things down and take a look at the projected path we can see that for a few moments, Autopilot was making the right decision and was planning on passing. I think we're going to see some major improvements with Autopilot's decision making with every single update. It's obviously very capable of knowing what to do here. It just needs a little push in the right direction. And finally, this one situation where the guys in the car thought the AI did well, but I disagree. Just have a look. Yeah. Oh, we have it. Uh oh, 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 oh. Wow. Look at that. It literally just handled that. There we go, it just stopped right there as it, we had the just, oncoming person yep. that you couldn't see next to their vehicle. Yep. That was a hyper. Wow. Yeah. What? No. I don't know why these guys were so impressed with it because the car can clearly see the Amazon truck in its way and it can also see another car coming in the opposite direction way before it has to make a decision. 
and i think a normal human driver would have exercised caution and stopped behind the truck instead of what the ai did here is just jumping into that situation and then stopping weirdly like amma sorry sort of thing so i don't know why you guys are praising it you should be reporting it so that is how tesla full self driving beta testing is going these test drivers constantly driving around trying to catch the ai out in its dumb moments and report them back to tesla so that they can be fixed and gradually improved upon it's actually pretty cool to see that evolution and that was it for this week's video i think this sort of stuff is super interesting if you do as well leave me a comment like share subscribe all of that stuff thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one